Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. Now in this video, we're going to learn about React.js set state method. However, to learn the understanding of this method, we'll first look at what React.js state is. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So without further ado, let's begin. Typically, a state is an object that stores the values of properties belonging to a component. Now, these values can change over a period of time either via user interactions or network changes. And the state helps facilitate this functionality. Every time the state changes, React re-renders the component to the browser. The state is initialized in the constructor. A state can also store multiple properties. A method called setState is used to update the value of the state object. Now this function performs a shallow merge on the new and the previous state. Conventionally, a shallow merge ensures that the previous state values are overwritten by the new state values. Now that we've learned all about state, let's go ahead and build an application to see the working of state. Alright, so in my code editor, that is VS Code, I've created my application say state. And here in my source folder, I have my app.js file. Now here, I'm going to get rid of all the unnecessary code that I'm not going to be using. Also, I suggest you go through the React installation on Windows video to help you get started with creating your first application. So let's create our class component, say class app extends react.component. Inside, I have a render method that returns an HTML tag. Let's display a message, welcome. Let's follow the JSX conventions and enclose all the HTML tags within the div tag. So I say div class name equals app. We also have to import the app.css file, import app.css. So we save it and if you look at the browser, we have welcome. Now let's beautify our code. To do that, let's add some styling. So here in my app.js class component, I say styles equals and I say font style and I set it to say bold and I say color say teal and here in my h1 tag I say style equals this dot styles so let me save it and if you look at the browser now we have welcome in teal and it's bold now let's go ahead and create a class component to understand state so first I create a folder and I call it components and inside this folder I create a class component and I call it new comp dot js and I use the snippet rce to create the class component to give you an insight into what we're doing today we'll display a message asking the user to subscribe to simply learn once the user clicks on the subscribe button we instruct them to click on the bell icon and finally we display a thank you message now to do all of this, we're going to make use of state. And as mentioned earlier, we initialize the state object in a constructor. So let's use the snippet our const to create a constructor. Now in the state object, we initialize a property. Let's call it message. And we display a message saying subscribe to simply learn. Let's save it. And here in our render method, let's say class name equals app. And let's create an h3 tag and within the tag, I display the message. So I say this dot state dot message. Let's save it. And now let's import it in our app.js component. So I get rid of export here. And here I say import new comp from components and new comp. And let's define it here and say new so we save it and look at the browser it says subscribe to simply learn all right again to make our code look more presentable let's add in styles so i'll just copy the same styles that i've added here and i paste them here and instead of bold i make it italic and i change the color to say purple and again in my h3 tag i define style and initialize it to this dot styles so let me save it and now if you look at the browser, it's in italic and it's in purple. Okay, so moving ahead, let's create a button that reads subscribe. And once the user clicks on it, the button should read subscribed. And the message displayed above should instruct the user to click on the bell icon. To do that, let's first create a button. The message that I want the button to read is subscribe. 
However, this message gets changed once the user clicks on the button. So instead of explicitly mentioning subscribe here, I create a prop. I say sub and I say subscribe here. And back in my render method, I say this dot state dot sub. So let's save it. And if you look at the browser now, you have a button which displays a message subscribe. Now, once the user clicks on the button, the message displayed should change to click on the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's create an event handler for that. So here, button on click, I call another method and let's call the method button change. Okay, so this method should update the state and change the message and sub values. To do that, we make use of a set state method. Now a state can be updated in response to event handlers, server responses or prop changes. Now all the updation can be done using the set state method. Now this is the general syntax used by the method. We'll however look at this further in the demo. Now the set state method conventionally enqueues all the updates made to the component state and instructs React to re-render the component and its children with the updated state. Now let's go back to our code editor and look at the working of this method. Now here I define the arrow function button change. If you are not familiar with arrow functions, I suggest you read up on them. And this is the general syntax. And here I say this dot set state. And inside I change my message to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. And my sub value changes to subscribed. Let's save this. And now if you look at the browser, when we click on the subscribe button, the message changes to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So moving ahead, let's use a bell icon so that the user can click on it. Once he clicks on the image, the image changes and a thank you message appears on the screen. So for that, I have two images. I have bell A and bell B. So I drag and drop both the images in my components folder. All right. Now let's import these images into our new com.js file. Here I say import bell a from bell a dot png and again I say import bell b from bell b dot png. Right, let me save it. To display the image on the screen, we make use of the image tag. Now this tag has two attributes. One is the source attribute that specifies the URL and the other is the alt attribute that specifies an alternate text for the image. So here in my component, I say, I make use of a paragraph tag that'll help display the image in the next line. And then I use the image tag. Now, since my image changes once it's clicked, I have to define a property and pass the event handler click that'll update the image. So here, before specifying the source, let's go back to our state and define another property that is image URL and let's set it to bell A since that is the image that I want to display first. Let me save it and here in my image tag I say source equals this dot state dot image URL and then we have the all tag and I do not want to display any message so I leave it as it is. Now let's save it and if you look at the browser we have a bell displayed. However, now let's change the dimensions of the bell. I do not want such a huge bell. So back in my VS code, I define style with width, say 30 pixels and a height with again 30 pixels. Let me save this. And now if you look at the browser, we have a smaller icon. So once the user clicks on this image, the image changes and the message displayed here gets updated. To do that, we'll have to define an event. So let's go back to our VS code and here in my image tag, let's say on click, I define a method, say this dot image change. And now we define this method here. I say image change. I make use of an arrow function again. And again, I use the set state method. I update the image. So I say image URL is now set to bell B. And the message is updated to thank you. Happy learning. So let's save this now. And if we look at the browser, we see the image and once clicked on it, the image gets updated and the message changes. So finally, let me refresh the browser once and show the full execution. Let me refresh. Following the instructions, let's click on the subscribe button. And now it says hit the bell icon. And once I do that, 
the image updates and the message changes. All right, so with this, we've come to the end of the video. I hope the concept of state is clear to you. Watch out for more videos on React.js. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.